Hi guys, Anthony Allen here and you have successfully made it to lesson 10. If of course you're on lesson 10 because you want to see how to render and export your project, of course continue. But I do advise you to watch the rest of this playlist so you can find out more about Final Cut Pro 10 and so that you can get the most value out of the lessons that I'm giving here on YouTube. So without further ado, let's get into the celebration part of the video, the part where it should be fairly easy for you guys, just really tackling those little complicated little facets of rendering and exporting. So rendering is gonna be the first thing that we tackle, of course, because rendering your media is very important. If it's not done, then this can drastically affect the final product that you're trying to export or the final uh, uh, media that you're trying to export it can also really affect your workflow within Final Cut Pro 10 meaning that you can have interruptions your CPU can get backed up things can look jarring and stutter its way through especially if you're not using Optimize and Proxy Media as uh, we did talk about that earlier on in one of the lessons so without further ado let's get into rendering so if you want to manually render something let's say that for example you are not using the default settings and for some reason Final Cut Pro 10 is not rendering a piece of media. As mentioned before this dotted line above your piece of media source will be what indicating to you that something needs to be rendered within this time frame. What I tend to do is if I've got layers I tend to drag and hold my mouse and select oops hold on I'm not clicking the right side of the, uh, the trackpad there drag and hold my mouse and literally select everything within that time frame and then at this point if it fits there we go I would then go into edit sorry modify and then render selection you can of course render all but if there is something specific that you want to render first or for some reason there's a change that you've made that you think that you might be making more changes to and you don't want to render it because it's just going to be taking up space then you can actually render the selection you've made when you select render all it will render everything within your timeline so if you have a lot of media clips and sources within your timeline selecting render all can drastically eat up the CPU of your Mac or your Mac machinery, your Apple machine or whatever machine you're using Final Cut Pro 10 with. Of course, depending on how big your project is, if you select render all, this can drastically, you know, eat up that CPU. So if you want to do something else like uploading to YouTube and so forth and you don't want that interrupted uh, because you need your CPU for things like that, then I would say, you know, render a selection uh, opposed to you know playing a really big game and trying to render at the same time because that may put a little bit of a strain on your CPU basically on your machine now we're going to walk through basically how you turn off the automatic rendering for Final Cut Pro now I have mine off and that's because I tend to have a workflow that works for me so that might not work for you you might need Final Cut to render every single change that you have when you're making those changes and that's what Final Cut Pro 10 does automatically. In order to have a look at this go up to the Final Cut Pro menu here you want to go into preferences. It is at this point that you want to look for background render. Now you can see that here it says rendering and there is background render. If you have this checked off then of course it won't render in the background so it won't automatically render your changes that you make within your timeline. If you had this checked on of course it would be the opposite. You can change the interval of time that this renders if you so choose so. Uh, for example if you're making changes once every I don't know 10 seconds that are important then you can change that to 10 seconds instead of 3 seconds and that will drastically you know give you an edge uh, over you know things that you're doing within Final Cut and therefore you might not need to turn off background rendering. I work quite quickly in Final Cut so that's the reason why I tend to turn background rendering off because I like to have the control over what Final Cut is working on and if I want to focus on a specific task for a long time that background render will just be eating up CPU especially when working with external plugins. So that is background rendering and how you turn on and off your rendering. I've also shown you how you can render selections within your timeline if you so need to, if, if you need to and it also showed you how to render everything within your timeline.
For now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to Modify and we're going to select Render All. This will focus on those little bits and bobs within our timeline that are not yet rendered. Of course, as mentioned before in previous episodes, in previous lessons, uh, there is a, uh, a background task here and you can see when it is rendering. Notice how when I hover my mouse over selected parts of the timeline that need to be rendered, it pauses the rendering. So I do advise that you don't select anything within your timeline as this will, you know, pause the rendering time. Of course, if it's a long time that you need something to be rendered, just don't use the mouse or just, uh, you know, minimize Final Cut. What I tend to do is I drag the whole entire um, program down. So once that is all rendered and you're happy with what's in your timeline and you've watched it through, of course, the next stage is to export. You can do this by clicking the icon in the top right hand corner. This is the shortcut to export something. You want to select this. Now you have a few options. Of course, some of these can be slightly different depending on if you've changed your export destinations. Uh, you can add a destination at the bottom. I tend to pick Apple devices 1080p. So here is where you're in your export window. Um, mine is for MP4. And you can actually change the resolution of your output of your of your finished file. If you have any questions about exporting, you can hit me up in the comment section down below. And then of course, you can change the title of your video. I'm gonna call it Nature's Beauty. You can give this a description, but this is only really needed if you're uploading to sharing directly to social media or YouTube. And of course, you can give yourself the tags if you're uploading to YouTube or Facebook or so another social media like Twitter or something like that. And then you have the creator's name, which in my case is my name. Once you're done, you can see the estimated file size. You can now see the format of the, of the file. You can see the resolution, the left and the sound output, and also the time duration of the entire file. Once you're done and you're happy, you then select next. At this point, you can select your location in which you're saving your final finished file. I'm going to select the desktop. Once that's done, I'll be showing you what we have created throughout this tutorial. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more video editing tutorials. This has been a 10 part series available here on my channel. So I'd love to see you here again as I'll be tackling other editing platforms, different plugins and more here on the channel, as well as my usual gaming videos because I like to game as well in my spare time and you can see that on the channel as well. My name is Anthony Allen. Thank you for sticking around. Share this video around so I can reach more people and help more people with their video editing. And without further ado, enjoy nature's beauty. The waterfall. It can be beautiful. It can be dangerous. It can crash. But it can also flow gently. The tide cannot be stopped. Or will surrender to its current. Water can ripple and it can dance. Water has rhythm. It can decay, but it can also give life. Such is the rhythm of nature. Enjoy this journey as we admire nature's beauty. This little fella is looking for lunch.